Today, I want to talk to you about websites and iDevices like iPhones and iPads. You know, as a small business owner, it's very important to make sure that your website displays correctly on different devices so that you don't alienate some of your customers. Today, I'm going to start out by talking about why some websites don't display correctly on these iDevices. Then, I'm going to show you five specific websites and we're going to look at how they display on a PC versus an iDevice like an iPad. Lastly, I'm going to give you some best practices to use going forward to ensure that your website looks consistent on the iPad and PC. You ready to get started, Bogues? Great. Apple's iDevices like the iPod, iPad, and iPhone have been extremely popular with consumers. So why is it that some websites display correctly and some don't? Well, you may have heard of a fight between Apple and a software maker called Adobe. Now, Adobe makes a software called Adobe Flash, and Adobe Flash software basically enables animation on websites. A lot of businesses over the years began to implement Flash into their websites for a richer user experience. For example, with photo slideshows, a lot of those initial photo slideshows were made in Adobe Flash. You've probably seen Adobe Flash and not even noticed it. Here's an example of a website that's using Adobe Flash. Now this fight between Apple and Adobe really comes down to this. Apple will not let Adobe Flash run on iDevices like the iPhone and iPad. This means as a small business owner, you need to ensure that your website will display correctly for the people that use those devices. Next, we're gonna look at five different sites and I'm gonna show you how they display differently between a PC and the iPad. All right, so we're going to take a look at a few different websites and how they display between <clears throat> a PC and on the iPad. I just need to say, first of all, that I have nothing against any of these companies or any of these websites. I use a lot of their products, and a lot of them uh, have great businesses and, and very happy clients. So the first one we're going to take a look at is a local salon and spa. And what it loads up with here is an intro video. You can see there's actually some sound to it. I'm not sure if you can hear it very well or not, but there's some sound here. There's this option to skip intro and at some point we can actually get into the website from here. Now let's take a look and see how this looks on the iPad. Now on the iPad, here it is. The, the video itself is gone and it's just replaced with this simple text. The problem here is there's no way for us to get inside of the website to see, you know, see the site. So we're just stuck here. Um, what should be done is there should be an alternate link placed outside of the movie that would say enter the site here. All right, so the next site that we're going to look at is for a local bank, and I believe this site was recently redesigned. Now, it's a very appealing site. It looks great. It's got the time and the temperature here. It's got some scrolling images here uh, right now that are running through some Christmas images. Let's see how it looks on the iPad. Now, at first glance, it might look the same. The time and temperature are gone, and the scrolling images actually go away, and this just becomes like a fallback fixed image. What I'd like to know is, who changes this image? You know, in a couple months when the website's not new, do they have to call the website designer and have them change this? It seems like there might have been a better way to implement this that would be uh, more maintainable by the bank itself. All right, the next site we're going to look at is for a local sign company. And here's our site here. You notice right here in this um, kind of important area of the homepage, they have this scrolling image gallery that's rotating images. Now let's see how that looks on the iPad. As you can see on the iPad, that just disappears. We mentioned it was kind of an important area of the home page. They want to be able to push their product by showing different images of what they've done of their portfolio, but it's gone now. Now, there's some ways to remedy this, which we'll talk about after the examples to make this display just fine on the iPad as well. All right, the next site that we're going to take a look at is for a water treatment company in town here. And here it is here. Uh, as you can see, there's a kind of a video that runs across the top here. Uh, this here actually is uh, kind of a slideshow. And uh, when the video finishes, actually what it shows is their logo on the top here. Now the other thing that's interesting is their menu is actually kind of animated as well. So if we take a look at the iPad version, what we see is the video's gone on the top and this gallery's gone. Now the other important thing is to note is that the menu's gone too. So we're pretty much stuck here on this page. We can't go anywhere. 
Um, if we were to look at the reports from this page itself or this site, I bet you we'd see a high bounce rate on this first page for those people that are iPad users or iDevice users. All right, next we're going to take a quick look at uh, the Parade of Homes for Minnesota. Uh, here's their website, and as you can see, it's another website that is fairly well designed. Um, looks very nice. Now let's take a look at it on the iPad. So on the iPad, it comes up here, which gives us the options for mobile and mobile site and iPhone app for the Parade of Homes. Now, what it doesn't give us the option for is the full site, which would be very nice to have on the iPad because it looks so good. Uh, I wish they would give us that option. There's some other issues with this. If you follow the mobile site uh, path, it takes us to a screen here that shows the different houses that we can take a look at. This is all um, pixelated for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. If we click on the one of these to view the, the house, uh, then we get uh, pictures like this where it's still all pixelated. And I'm not really sure why that is. Um, it's something that I think the Parade of Homes people need to look at. They're obviously trying to target um, mobile users by having a mobile version. It's just not done very well. So we've looked at a few websites that had some problems displaying in the iPad. So how do we avoid this going forward? Well, first of all, if you're considering having any new website development done and your developer is trying to tell you to build some part of it in Flash or he wants to use Flash for some part of it, I think you know to be a little bit leery about that now. Now for the sites that already exist that have issues, there's an alternative technology called jQuery out there that does a lot of the same things that Flash did or does. Um, what I would suggest is if, you're having, if you have a website that's having issues today, talk to your developer about implementing some of that functionality in jQuery so that the users that are coming on the iPad and iPhone, for example, can see the same content that the people on the PC can, can see. I hope you enjoyed today's video on websites and the iPad. If you have an idea for a future video, find me on Facebook, give me a call, or send me an email. And thanks for watching.